Vascularity, with its captivating display of visible veins, can be seen as a true testament to vitality, and it evokes a sense of robustness. And the best part is, everyone admires someone who has vascular arms. They're like, damn man, your arms are jacked. Or even a woman is like, I love how jacked you look with your veins popping through. It's a very strange thing, but it also shows a level of natural vitality. Now, to some degree, of course, it may be an unhealthy thing, but we're not here on roids. We're staying true to natural living and vitality. That's what my channel is all about. And in this video, I'm gonna give you all the tips and tricks that I know of that have helped me become more vascular and also just supporting overall arterial function, blood flow, nitric oxide, all the great things for longevity and energy and just feeling more in tune with your highest self. So let's jump into them. Hello friends of cyberspace. My name is Christian Van Camp, a holistic lifestyle and performance coach for men. And I'm also just a biohacking hippie. I love to optimize my essence inside and out through just simple actionable steps because in the diluted world of health and wellness, we see so many people making it like such a complex thing to be healthy, but it's actually quite simple. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about holistic fitness specifically and how you can become more vascular, improve your blood flow, improve your muscle mass, through improvements in nitric oxide, which starts with the vascularity. So number one thing is gonna be decreasing your body fat percentage, right? Not being a fat lard. Seriously, getting under 12% body fat will start helping out with the overall vascularity of your arms, of your legs, of your calves even. So it's really critical to get below that 12% body fat to start seeing those changes with the skin and actually having healthier blood flow. Having higher fat mass in general with a white Oedipus tissue is just unhealthy in general. It's not good for you. So finding a good level, you know, anywhere from the single digits to eight to nine percent up into 12 percent, we'll say, is a good range to be for a man with testosterone levels being at a favorable level at that fast fat mass. And in general, it's just going to be great for having those veins pop. And number two is going to be related to salt. So you see those people that are carrying around those gallon jugs, those plastic, especially with BPA and stuff in them. And they go to the gym and they have their lines on them. They're like, you're almost there. You almost got your gallon. You're, you're so close. Throw those things away because it, they're just not going to help you. What's going to help you is the salt to actually retain the water to help out with the vascularity. So many of us are not getting adequate sources of minerals in our system. Minerals are foundational. If I had to recommend a couple of things, it'd be uh, vitamins, it'd be minerals, and then it'd be the fats. If you just prioritize those three things, you're gonna start living a healthier life if you get the healthy sources of those three. Minerals is foundational for longevity and vitality in general. So I like to get a good quality salt source. I uh, you know, pinch it and put it in my water throughout the day. I'll add it to my meals. And I also am a big fan of electrolyte powder. It helps so much when it comes to getting the pumps, brain function, your nervous system, your energy, your fat metabolism. Minerals are foundational and a good quality source is key without all the, uh, without all the uh, iron oxide residues and uh, you know, things in them that actually are deleterious to your health. Like you can resource a lot of salt that is from sea salt and it actually has plastics in it because we're dumping so much plastic into the ocean. So it's really important to get a good quality salt source. I'm a big fan of Celtic salt, C-E-L-T-I-C, -E and also Redmond Real Salt. That is a great source. Um, I'm a big fan of the Redmond electrolytes as well. Relight is such a powerhouse. Those electrolytes I was alluding to, I scoop one to two scoops a day and that helps me get over two grams of sodium a day. And if I'm sweating a lot, it's so important to replenish as well. Uh, it's gonna help a ton with just getting that hydration up and helping out with the overall vascularity. So get your salt intake up, it's gonna be critical. All right, number three is gonna be lifting weights three to four days a week, prioritizing resistance training to build muscle instead of all the cardio and all of that. Cardio is great for your health, by the way, doesn't mean neglect it, but prioritize your energy output through lifting weights three to four days a week, you know, really focusing on the time under tension. So it's not about, you know, the speed of the reps flaring your arms like a crazy man. Instead, it's about controlling the tension and getting those fibers all torn up. That is gonna be absolutely key for helping out with your vascularity, your muscle growth, more muscle tissue equates to more vascularity. And then getting lean on top of that from number one. So prioritize lifting weights three to four days a week, follow a program that actually works with 
uh, some really key foundations of muscle hypertrophy, and that will help you a ton. The Interfit program fits in with just that. I have to be honest, I have to plug this in there because it really works effectively. All the guys that have gone through this, which is over 50 dudes, specifically in this uh, new launch of the program with a group coaching dynamic launched every quarter, They've seen amazing results from the strategies put into place with this program. There's a lot of programs in the industry. This is the most simple and the most effective I have ever come across and made myself. So highly recommend looking into that further. You can go to liveinterfit.com if you want to learn more. And also head to cbcwellness.com slash coaching to learn more about the one-on-one experience with me. We can even cultivate a personalized program for you as well. Number four is not going to be something you would ever imagine would be helping out with vascularity, but it's a holistic approach we're going back to. Get your sleep right. Stop staying up late on your phone, blasting blue light in your eyes, munching through the fridge right before sleep, spiking up your insulin, destroying your melatonin secretion. Prioritize deep rejuvenating sleep every night if you can, seven to nine hours, get that circadian clock dialed in, go to bed around the same time frame every night, You know, maybe 10 to 11 p.m., wake up around the same time with the sun. It's a great way to go to help you with that vitality because poor sleep equates to poor blood flow to the brain and body low nitric oxide production, arterial issues that erupt over time, diabetes, hypertension, all that's gonna prevent you from looking good, but also prevent you from feeling good. Um, And then you can also throw in the, the whole caveat with how it destroys your recovery, which will destroy your output in the gym with gaining muscle. So all of it's connected. So prioritize your deep sleep. Cold therapy, cold therapy is tremendous for overall fat metabolism, converting white fat to metabolically dense brown fat, which is mitochondrial dense, the powerhouse of the cell that create ATP, they're the overall cellular messengers throughout your brain and body. Mitochondria are very important, so making more brown fat increases your thermic effect to burn more fat, making more lean, going back to number one, to help the veins pop. But also the crazy part about cold therapy is it constricts your blood vessels quite a bit when you're in 40 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit for, you know, two to eight minutes. When you sit in that and you do that, you know, one to seven times a week every day if you can, I have a cold plunge at home that's amazing. I do it every grand rising and uh, it does constrict those blood vessels. And then afterwards when you're just, oh, I'm all fired up it dilates them like crazy. That's where it helps a ton with your overall uh, cardiovascular health, which can help out with your you know, blood flow, which can help out the veins. So cold therapy, take advantage of it. It's uncomfortable, but it really helps you uh, overcome that inner bitch. Now on the contrary, we have extreme heat away from the st- extreme cold. Sauna, getting into a sauna, a traditional finished sauna is amazing because it gets up to 180 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, super hot building those heat shock proteins. And then on the other way around, you have a near infrared sauna, which emits these near infrared wavelengths, which can be very healing because they penetrate below the skin and heat you up from the inside out. And that can help out with a lot of detoxification. And then you can replenish with more salt and electrolytes, of course, but that helps out a ton with overall cardiovascular health, which can help you get those veins popping and feeling very strong within your body and mind. So it's also just very calming on the nervous system. Similar to the ice bath or ice shower is it will help a ton with the nervous system response and your stress. It's a hormetic stress. Hormesis is what doesn't kill you, makes you stronger. And so doing these short-term stressors like lifting weights, sauna, ice bath, they make you more resilient in the long run and therefore improving your longevity and veins to have the women come up to you and just love your veins (laughs) so sauna is key now we have carbohydrates pre-workout yes carbs pre-workout you're about to do all this movement so going back to what we discussed with lifting weights three to four days a week before your workout within an hour guzzle down some raw honey some sacred raw honey loaded up in the enzymes the vitamins and minerals none of that crazy little bear container with the plastic that's not real honey that's not real honey at all it's all pasteurized and heated up to a high temperature removing all the vitality to it so prioritize a good quality source of raw honey as a good example before your workout you can also do sweet potatoes you can do some good quality white rice some quinoa those types of sources of overall starchy carbs and simple carbs are gonna be really effective for you when it comes to the vascularity. Why does everyone fear the sun? It's such a weird phenomenon because that's been something we've just totally worshiped for hundreds of thousands of years. And yet recently we've been told it's bad for us and lathering on all these toxic sunscreens and all that. But no, the sun is gonna be a big part of you improving your vasodilation, improving your vascularity and overall holistic health. 
It improves melanin production. Melanin is the tan we get that helps out. Uh, it works like an antioxidant. It also helps us look sexier when we have that coloration, right? The tanner look. It helps out with vitamin D3 synthesis. We all know how important that is. It's calming, it's serotonergic, improving serotonin. It's gonna help out with your circadian clock so you sleep deeper at night, wake up feeling refreshed. So many reasons to get sunshine, guys. So if I can't get an hour of full sun a day, well, it sucks. What do I do about it, right? Well, this is where photobiomodulation comes in. Photo meaning light, bio meaning biology, modulating your biology through light. It's super cool. Photobiomodulation or red light therapy, there's so many studies out right now on PubMed proving how efficacious it is for overall blood flow, circulation, even testosterone. There's some connections to testosterone improving, vision health, it's crazy. So every single day for 10 to 20 minutes, I'll stand in front of these panels from Gemba Red specifically because the nanometers of this particular brand, Gemba Red, are favorable for your health. They're not too intense like many on the market who market it as like, the more intense, the better. That's not the case. So standing in front of that for 10 to 20 minutes, getting the proper wavelengths, turning on both sides. I just feel calmer, I feel more energy, my vascularity starts popping afterwards. Highly recommend that. There's so many longevity benefits to it uh, and it's the most affordable on the market. There's a benefit right there. So if you're interested in learning more, there's more in the caption below, check it out. You can get 10% off with code CVC Wellness and that goes for all products out there. If you just wanna plug it in on any website, you might actually get a discount with CVC Wellness. So check out Sunlight, don't be afraid of the sun and uh, optimize through photobiomodulation. Now we're on to vasodilators and supplements, the last key pillar of overall amplifying your essence and vascularity. This is my favorite little thing to tap into. So the first supplement I'm gonna recommend to you is a very cheap over-the-counter one, get it from a good brand, and it's vitamin B3 slash niacin. Niacin, vitamin B3. This is basically a B vitamin that works in the energy production of the body, all B vitamins do. Specifically, it does help out with vasodilation like crazy. There's a crazy mechanism that goes on through it with the exchange of energy through the cells. And this gives you a temporary, with the flush form, this gives you a temporary flush. And it makes the skin red, you get this itchy, prickly feeling, but it's really amazing stacking it before the sauna or just before a workout. Anywhere from 100 milligrams to 500 milligrams is a great way to go. You can do it every day if you like. A lot of times it's prescribed for cholesterol. So if you have high cholesterol, it can really help out with that. And uh, really just providing that blood flow and zest. It's intense at first, but your body starts adapting. It's one of my favorite ways to detox, amplify energy and support vasodilation and vascularity. Next is L-citrulline. Citrulline is a powerful precursor to nitric oxide. It converts from L-citrulline to L-arginine to nitric oxide. We all know what nitric oxide is for, right? If you don't, that's okay. We'll just go through it right now. Nitric oxide is simply what helps your red blood cells transfer through and be oxygenated through your cells. Oh, you're good, you're good, no worries. <laughs> keep it up, keep the momentum. Nitric oxide helps with the overall NO signaling. And so this will help a ton when it comes to getting all the blood vessels moving and opening up the blood vessels so we aren't having them tight, therefore leading to atherosclerosis or uh, cholesterol heart attacks. We don't want that. So L-citrulline is a great one. I take three grams before a workout, works wonders. And lastly is shilajit. Shilajit is a powerful ancient resin from the Himalayan mountains. It's loaded up in so many minerals, fulvic and humic acids, and things that can help you with that vitality when it comes to your, your blood flow in general. And there's so many other things holistically that go on mechanistically, funny words here, but there's so many mechanisms that are going on when you have shilajit in your body because of these amino acids, these trace minerals, uh, fulvic and humic acids, great for the gut. So highly encourage you to check out shilajit. I've been taking it every day, a big piece-sized glob in the morning. You feel the energy rise. There's a lot of studies on it helping out with testosterone as well. So get that in your arsenal. I'm a big fan of Legit because it's purified resin. It doesn't have all the issues with it, um, like some of these contaminated ones on the market with heavy metals and whatnot. So, so check that one out. You can get 10% off with code CVC Wellness. Well, there you have it, guys. Ways to amplify your essence in your blood flow and vascularity so you can be a stronger, more powerful, resilient man. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell icon to stay up to date on uh, future videos coming out. You'll get an email notifying you of my whimsical videos on fitness, nutrition, holistic optimization, and natural healing. 
mindset, philosophy, all the things that will help you become a stronger man or woman on this planet. Also join my email list. You can go to cbcwellness.com. I send out a weekly email. I don't sell you anything. I only share vitality and esoteric wisdom every single week on these topics I just discussed. Uh, it's really powerful. And you can also get my free lifestyle guide, which has a primal workout, a seven minute journal, and lastly, a grocery guide to support you on your journey. So I'll see you guys on the other side.